they're ready and they're off they're racing Premio Loco on the incredible yeah it was, it was amazing and <laughs> looks like he's getting better I didn't think it was possible but he is you know, the biggest problem again I had was pulling him up same old story isn't it yeah, look, from a you know a trainer's perspective and a racing enthusiast, it's a wonderful to see you know, the greatest horse in the world in full flight, and probably that that performance is going to go down in history is probably one of the greatest performances you'll ever see on a racetrack. So it was awe-inspiring and uh, just wonderful to be here to see. I'm very lucky to have him, and I think it's very important for any sport to have champions and and um, you know he's created a lot of interest, people outside racing as well as in racing, and. And I think, um, thanks to the public, they've given me great support, and I hope um, you know, he's repaying them. Following in his stable companion slipstream, bullet train from helmet on the right, on the left, acceleration. Queenie is just edging. It was. It was really breathtaking. Uh, really was breathtaking. I did sort of. I left me speechless at the time, which is quite rare, as you know. But um, so exciting. Did everything. Settled really well, and then began to turn it on about three out, and just just was devastating. It was a fantastic performance. The way, and he opens up in tremendous style. Four or five lengths clear of acceleration. The rest are well I, I really am not a believer in trying to compare generations, but I, I'm certain we haven't seen anything that was as far ahead of its, gen, of its own generation since Brigadier Jarrett. So, wonderful. Brilliant performance in the best ever, the best ever horse and his best ever performance at Ascot on Tuesday. I think we have to come to that conclusion now. He was breathtaking, his presence, his swagger, his ability, all making for me the best racehorse I've ever seen. He's just a, a freak, and especially after he came back from that little bit of tendon injury, sensational. Was was nearly worth a trip just to see how good he was. And, the tears and, uh, in the eye. Yeah, yeah emotional. It was yeah. it was magnificent. I've raised Frankel to a mark of 142. That means he stands alone as clearly the best horse we've rated on Racing Post ratings. His new mark puts him uh, four pound clear of our previous best turf horses, which were Dale Army and See the Stars. Before Frankel came along, there was just three pound covering the top ten in our all-time list, um, and Frankel's just gone four pound clear. Being an Aussie, I'm a black caviar girl, but uh, he was one of the best things I've seen in a long time. So I don't want to see him. I would hate to see him line up next to each other, but it's the first time I've been to Royal Ascot, and it was breathtaking.